Hi Stampers, welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday and I'm Jill and I can't wait to show you this new product that is available as of March 1st to the 2nd of May as long as supplies are available. So I, I just got the whole bundle because it was amazing. It's called Waves of the Ocean and you can find it on stampinup.com or you can also find the link on our website stampinjill.com and it I just love it I'm just gonna show you right here here's the bundle and I'm gonna actually show you the stuff that's in the bundle live here today and then here if you want to buy the products individually the stamp set the paper the foils and the jewels oh just awesome I think it's amazing so let me go ahead and show you so you can see a little bit up close Okay, this is the DSP, comes in 12 by 12, and oh, look at these amazing colors. The waves, it looks just like water, and bubbles, and foam, and just looks like the sea. Okay, so that's that side. Look at this side. Oh, just can't get enough of it. I love how it has the so saffron in there and it has just these other corals in there just amazing DSP and there's no wrong combination at all it's just amazing you can make cards that don't that doesn't have anything to do with the wave and I've done some of those so I'll show you those today too okay the foils look at these beautiful foils they come 12 by 12 and you get two of each color and when you go ahead and cut them out with the, here are the dies that come with this set, stamp set. Has two waves, has where it um, cuts out the little um, pelican and it just has also, uh, what are those things called, the seagulls. And see, there's the pelican cut out with a die. And this is awesome. I always love saying, little things and you could put ribbon through this so or just a piece of cardstock so they are amazing dies too all right and then the stamp set this is what the stamp set looks like it has four sayings in it ah love a stamp set with four sayings now what the amazing thing about this stamp set and the die combination is it doesn't have to be about the waves it's like the abstractness of these dies is awesome so let me go ahead and show you some more these are beautiful look at those rhinestones and all the different colors the jades and the greens and the the balmy blues and the pacific point ah oh. all right so those are them so i'm just going to show you some abstract cards right off first so when you cut these dies out with a product like these were some of the foils you have all these little pieces in here that you know what am i going to do with so what i did was i just kind of put a strip of adhesive down here and made like an abstract card of like all the pieces so save your pieces because they make awesome things this again is the actual wave but i didn't really use it as a wave it was more abstract and see how cool this is. You can put a banner through that and it looks like a ribbon. And here's another one. Our friendship is a thing of beauty. Two waves, just basically one right here and flip it and another one and you've got another abstract card that doesn't have anything to do with the wave, but that gorgeous paper. So let me go into another one. Here is a card. That's done with the DSP and the foils. And look, you just taking the big piece of foil and putting the DSP. And on this other side, okay, these are coming from, you know, the waves on the left. But if you flip it over when you cut it out with the DSP, you can have a left facing wave just as much as a right facing wave. So it's awesome. You can, you can you know, switch it up. That's why this um, stamp set is really so versatile, not just about the C. Okay, this is just done, and 
Aubrey did this one and I love it because the wave is right here and here but it just looks like a bunch of like little dots it really doesn't look like a wave the way that it was stamped and this is that gorgeous DSP super simple with just the saying and the die and here is another card that doesn't have anything to do with the wave itself but the C and the pelican awesome okay let me show you some with the dies and just the wave okay this has got the wave and you're stamping it tone on tone and then if you notice that the two waves the dies are totally separate different so you can double layer your dies that way here's one with just plain ribbon through it clouds so all these things, all these dies are in that um, option. I love that this one right here, I kind of copied it off of the, the sample that they give because I'm like, okay, I'm just going to cut around this wave that I stamped. So I did that. And then I took the DSP and then cut out one of the dies and then made it a gift card holder. So just putting adhesive right here and it works and this is just a like a glitter i used um glitter um dsp the glitter paper and just super simple there's so many different ways you can use it i'm going to show you this technique on this card using the wave in a different way that i basically don't even have a card for so i want to kind of do it here on camera but i'm going to show you some techniques using the wave stamp set that will be helpful for you okay some people like to take the stamp to the to the pad but with the bigger stamps i like to flip it over and ink it up like this like so so i can see where the ink is going and because this stamp is not quite five and a half inches you want to cut your dsp a little bit smaller or your paper that you're stamping on and you can do it like this so you can see, oh, if I've got it or not. And you can just go ahead and tap it or oops. And actually, that is a good mistake, let me tell you. Cause so with the wave, it's kind of nice if you make it like not even. And you'll see, okay, it's almost like double stamped there, lighter and darker. But it looks more like water that way. So you can stamp it real clean. I'll just show you on the back too. You can do it this way. Okay, where you just push it down. And it's really clean that way, but you can also do it this way where it makes it look wavy. The waving of the waves. Okay, so this is fine, but I love Winkostella because of the sparkle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Winkostella here, just kind of swirl it around and it will give you different colors of blue. You don't have to do it solid, but if you want to, you can. Just like swirl it around and you get more blues into your, what you've stamped. Or you can also make the lines less um, rigid and more flowing in some of the bubbles up there. Okay, so there's the wave with some Wicca Stella on them to sparkle. Okay, I'm just going to heat this up a little bit because I want it to dry wet right away. And then I'm going to show you how I do the sky on this card. So I want that to, the Wink of Stella to dry right away. Okay, and then I'm going to take one of our, with the balmy blue and do the background of the sky. One of our brushes, sponge brushes, kind of come off the paper and then go around. And I'm just circular motioning this in the sky, going under the wave, just a really super light blue to, to make it kind of slightly, it almost looks like a monochromatic card in some aspects. So there we have that. Now, if you want to make some seagulls in there, they do have the seagull stamp or so you just kind of put a couple of those in there. This is Pacific Point again. 
that I'm stamping it in. I always like to stamp off the paper too. So we've got some seagulls up there. And I went ahead and already did the same because I'm gonna be showing you some other things. So we've got that all done. And the next I'm gonna try is using our embossing paste. Cause I kinda wanna make the bit of the wave kinda look like bubbles or I guess it's called the foam on the wave. I'm just gonna take a block here, take some of this paste out and just put it on the block. Close that up because you want to make sure you close it up so it doesn't dry out. And then because I went ahead and dried this a little bit, it may pick up some of the blue, but I'm just going to take a little bit and make foam on my wave. Okay, I'm just like that for first and then I'm going to come back. Now this will dry like dimensional, so it will look really cool once it dries also and the more you kind of work with it the more you get more of a foamy look on the wave so i'm just kind of doing this on the top and it can go off on your sky a little bit too and you know how the the waves kind of froth around the top and stuff so we'll give it dimension i think it will be cool and this if you don't wait till your your ink has dried it will actually be blue so you can decide if you want it blue or if you want it the other way. So you kind of look at it from both sides and see what you want. But you can just work it in there however you want. So it's a little bit hard to see on this because of um, the dimension on the camera. But it looks really cool like in person to see that dimension coming up. Okay. Let me finish the card for you. I'm just going to put the saint right on here with, of course, dimensionals. Peel that off. So it's really actually pretty simple stamping, just the technique of putting the foam on the wave. And then we'll go ahead and put it right on here. Now, because it's not dry, I wanna go ahead and dry it up. If you're doing something quickly and you want it to, you know, wanna put it into an envelope or something, you'll wanna heat set it it does dry pretty quickly, but if you put it on thick, it's going to take a little bit to dry. Yeah. If you want to, you can put your dimensionals right on your blue, and you won't have to worry about turning that piece over to let it dry right away. Or you can actually put right on to your card before you do your um, paste so you don't have to worry about that it will already be on there okay so that paste is pretty dry now I'm just gonna pop this on here and you'll really notice it when you actually feel the card that it's it's popped up and it's got like little foam on the wave so I don't know if you can see it from me going like this but it really does have dimension on that wave it looks really cool. So remember that this is only available as of March 1st till the end of May, long as supplies last. And that's, that's the big one. I know that we all love these um, rhinestones and I should put some of those on there too. I'll put some on and we'll go ahead and post it with the video. So if you're interested in this wave set or any of the products that I've showed, there'll be links underneath this video. So. They're right there for you. So we'll see you next time on another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday.